What up guys? So, uh, today's gonna be a little bit different. We are going to be kind of troubleshooting a problem I've been having. It's with Betaflight. I switched back over to Betaflight. Some of you guys may have noticed just by the LEDs alone that in my videos that I've been flying, uh, definitely isn't KISS ESCs. Um, yeah, I'll go over that real quick in a second. I gotta get my bag ready. It's daylight savings time now. Sun's gonna go down. I wanna scope out a spot that I've flown a couple times, but it's like very bummy over there. And I wanna do some more videos in that area and I just wanna see the bum situation and uh, yeah, make sure it's like not a sketchy spot for these things that I have in mind. Jesus, oh, timing, Zoe is horrible. All right, anyways, let's get in the car, get packed up, and we'll go over there and I'll explain this issue more on the way there. All right, so heading out to this spot, and this is what I got going on. I switched back to the Betaflight uh, board. I'm flying the F4 board with the 32-bit ESCs, uh, the Betaflight ones, and I was flying the KISS stuff. I just can't... I don't know why I think KISS is just more tailored to a 5 inch uh, setup because on 6 inch I just always have issues and I just can't seem to get rid of them. I love KISS and I like the way it feels but Beta Flight's at a point now where it feels just as good I feel like and especially like with the 32 bit ESCs um, I'm really liking the way it's going. All right, so I made it out to this spot and uh, there's actually like this flat area that I think came from like the rain or like something over here. I've never actually flown from like this spot. It's actually kind of nice. I'm up high, so maybe I could get a little bit further out than what I normally do. And uh, yeah, hopefully this battery issue doesn't happen, but if it does, hopefully I could like get it taken care of. So um, let's get a couple of these flights in. It's kind of cool. I could see like downtown Riverside from over here and everything, but it's pretty dope. Alright, so first pack in, it's already doing this. Um, <laughs> I just plugged in. You guys could see there's like the little red light blinking in there. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to shut off, but I mean, I could arm and it just doesn't spin the motor. So I have no idea why that's blinking. Obviously, that's telling it it's something. Um, I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know like it's supposed to shut off so yeah I'll, I'll cycle it I'll do it a couple times we'll see if we can get it going and that's what it is that's the issue I'm having hopefully you guys could help me fix it okay so I don't know where I just cycled the battery a couple times uh, you can see it's it's working now I don't pretty cool I don't know. I don't know why it's doing that. I don't like that little telemetry warning either. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna fly around here, see how it goes. Yeah.
All right, so that's pretty much it. You guys saw what was going on. I uh, got two flights in. Sun's kind of like going down. I can still fly, but it's just gonna keep giving me that issue. I had to like unplug, do this, that, all these things to get it going. I don't know what it is, but if you guys could leave me a comment with your best suggestions, I'll try it out. I don't know if it's firmware related, hardware related. I'm gonna build another quad with the Betaflight board, those ESCs, see if that one doesn't have it and kind of go from there but like always guys please hit that subscribe button leave those comments help me out and uh yeah thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time peace